Hello class. Today we're learning about section 10.3, polygons, quadrilaterals, and perimeter. Basically, this is like the easiest chapter in the book, and it's not going to be that hard to remember. So, alright. Basically, all you need to know for this chapter is the rules of like different types of quadrilaterals and what makes a square a square, what makes a rhombus a rhombus. I love that word, rhombus. Mm. Speaking of rhombuses, they are parallelograms with all sides having equal length. Let me demonstrate for you. Bing! That's a rhombus. Beautiful. Now, all the sides are equal, and if you were to split it kind of in the middle like this, yeah, it would be two nice equal triangles. Um, a parallelogram in general is a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and have the same measure. Opposite angles have the same measure as well. Yep. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Because a rectangle is a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel and have the same measure. A square is a rectangle with all sides having equal length. Each angle measures 90 degrees, a right angle, and the square is a regular quadrilateral. And a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Right there. 